mamá me di, mamá me di, no te mamá, quiero que lo bailes 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 mamá, yo con ella, 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 mamá me di, 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 mamá
if people don't know who Beethoven is, a lot of people do, and Beethoven been been dead for 100, well, almost 100 and, and something years. They, if people still know who Beethoven is, you think they're not going to know who Pipe Dog is in 100 years? They, if, they, if, if, if they don't, that means that hip-hop did a bad, uh, hip-hop community did a bad job in making sure our legends you know, keep their names up there for people, for uh, for younger gener- for, uh, for the next generation to know about. So hopefully in 100 years, when I'm dead and gone, they still be talking about Fife Dog and Swaggle Quest and all the other great MCs. And if you are trying to put yourself as one as him, you're an idiot, and you don't ever ever in your life talk to me, because I would tell you straight up, you're not no five dog. Just because you five feet like he is, don't mean nothing. Okay. It don't. I don't care. I don't care. If you think you sound like him, that don't mean nothing. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm tired of all these motherfuckers anyway. You know what I'm saying? Trying to compare themselves to artists out right now. I even had one one dude that's, that, that I know. I really don't know, but he, he I, you know, I, he, 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 people think you, you're like, I think people think I'm like Kendrick Lamar. Are you, are you fucking kidding me, man? What? You? Think you Kendrick Lamar? Fuck out of here, man. No. Don't ever compare yourself to another MC. Try to be your own MC. That's that's the bottom line. Okay, let 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 let, let Kid Lamar be who he is, and he did give a shot. He did give a, a, a rest in peace to Five Dog because let's be real here. Kid Lamar album on uh, the Pimp Butterfly was nothing but like the Law and Theory all over again, man. That's what it was. It was just like that all over again. Law and Theory, uh, 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 Rhymes Travels, you no. Know, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, Midnight Menorahs, Menor- it was just like that. If you, it was, that's why I thought I was listening to. You know what I'm saying? When it came to uh, the Trinity Lost album, Kendrick Lamar's album, so it was not surprised that he gave uh, Five Dog a shout out and gave him a rest in peace when he was on tour in, in, in Australia. And that's how you do it. You give the legends, you know, their props, especially when they they die, they die. You know, so that's what I got to say about that. Do you, you want to say anything about that, Ash? Yo, y'all niggas out there need to stop bandwagon when some artist die where you never represented him before when he was alive, and now he's dead, and you see how many fans he got, and you didn't realize he had fans like that. Y'all need to stop that. That shit is whack. You're lame. Lame mo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say that. You can say what you want to say about me. I don't give a flying super blue fuck. <laughs> Ash Shulkers and Mr. Brett Show on www.realvisionradio.com. Real Independent Media Group. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. We are here, man. Yo. Yo, so what you thought about what I was saying before about about the about about the the the, the pro the pro Africa the pro blacks and the pro Africans will be on that bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Trying trying to to to, to try to try to try to tell people lies and, and stuff like that about hey, Mr. Bread, Mr. Bread, yeah, Mr. Bread, yeah, Mr. Bread. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, come on, man, stop fucking with me. Mr. Bread, are you interviewing Ash Hawkins on the Ash Hawkins and Mr. Bread show? You interviewing me? Yeah, I'm gonna know. Yes, so we just you wanna know? You wanna know? They lost, like I was saying before. See, me and Mr. Bread, we have a lot of conversations about this, and um, and I really wanna have like what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna have a tape recorder on me, so we can tape this because. It, you know what I'm saying? We we talk about this for like hours. We talk about a lot of issues for hours and it's juicy stuff. And it should be on the Ash Hawkins and Mr. Bread show. And it's all good though. So now that's why I want to do this segment because it's been a long time since we've been talking back and forth. We have it on tape. We're on video going back and forth on major issues on this show that we have been doing for like five years now. Five years. 
Yeah, it's almost a decade, dog. That's mm-hmm. good. Very good. Because that's called persistence. You know? Mm-hmm. We do it every week. And y'all notice, for our real fans, our real listeners, we do this every week. You know? But anyway, yeah, my th- yeah, you right, though. Mr. Bread, Mr. Bread, you right. And you know why I can't argue with you right now? Because I got to do more research, personally. You know? And that's what you all should do. You know, don't think like Mr. Bread is like on some like, on some like, see, this this, 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 this is what they going to do. Oh, he's on some militant shit. He's on some, uh, 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 he's, he's spreading hate. He's spreading hate. No, it's not hate. It's because he does his research. He does his research. Hello. It's called research. He does his research. So I suggest you do your research. If you can listen to him or don't listen to him, but do your research. Listen to that. Do your research. Follow your own path. That's that's what Mr. Bread did. Yeah. And, and, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. I'm sorry. And, and that's the thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that everything I research is, is true. I'm not saying that. But if I'm looking at it and I'm, and I'm putting two together and I'm starting to see the evidence, and then somebody else come around and try to tell me something that, that totally don't don't match the evidence that I, that I, that I have, have, have found, I'm going to call you on that bullshit. I'm going to call that bullshit out. Okay? I'm going to call that bullshit out. You know, and, and that's what it comes down to, man. It's like, it's like when I see this stuff, man. It's like, damn, man. Like, like especially with the coming to Africa stuff, because I'm a black man. It's like we 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 don't understand that that Africa is, is just a continent, and and we need to embrace all people that live over there. And and and, and that's the problem I have with with, with the pro Afrocentrics is that they talk about this this uh this uh we Africans, we are Africans, you know stuff. No matter where we go. But yet, when when it comes to people that actually was native to Africa for a long time that don't look like us, they don't they don't put them in the same category. If we are still Africans, they still Africans too, the Berbers. But because they light skinned and with with, with with straight hair, they not they not that true. They not Africans. But they've been over there for well, they've been over there for like forty thousand years before I, for for the black for the for the, the so called Congoloid race was even 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 moving into the West Africa and in, 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 in South Africa. So that's my point. That's what I said. Like, like we're gonna talk about pro. Af- you want to talk about pro Africanism? You got to talk about all the pro African. You talking about all the natives that used to be over there, all of them. Not, 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 not just people that look like you. All of them are over there. I'm not talking about the ones that came later. I'm talking about the ones that actually was native. And that's the point I'm trying to make. Like, I, 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 all I see in the, in the African diaspora is nothing but black folks. And I know that's not the truth. That's not the truth. Not that I know of. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, yo, this is a continent. That's like, that's like Chinese people, people that look Chinese or something like that, or Japanese, having the Asian diaspora. And all the people that, 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 that that's in the Asian diaspora are fucking people that look Chinese and Japanese. How do how how, how that make any sense? When and when when Asia itself got people that look different from from the, from the, from, the, from the Chinese and Japanese people. Do Arabs look like Chinese people? Do Persians look like Chinese people? They don't. But that's that's the same thing. And that's why I said, yo, and, and there's only black people doing this. Black people in America doing this. That's what kills me. Like, do go do your research first, man. Don't just all assume because you see a bunch of black people over there. That's how it was, or that's how it is. No, do your research. And stop thinking that uh, that Africa and Asia and fucking Europe is fucking is fucking uh, is fucking racist. They're not racist, man. They fucking continents. That's another thing I don't like. Okay, that's another thing I don't like. It's like, come on, man, you serious? We Africans, we Africans need to do this. We Africans need to do that. Okay, so what about that brother right there? Oh, that's not a true African. How you? Who, who, who say who, when? When all of a sudden they, when they when they when they when they settled in fucking in so no Africa that place wasn't even called Africa yet. Just like when we when our race settled in fucking in sub-Saharan Africa, we we, we it wasn't called Africa then. So I don't I don't understand that. What what, what do you mean? Is that what do you mean? That make no sense to me. You know, come on, that makes no sense. Like that's that's the thing that bugs me out. That's why I was talking about this shit all the time because it's like nobody doing any research, man. It's like people just want to talk. You know what I'm saying? People want to claim shit. 